Marty Robbins is one of the most well-loved country music singers that ever lived. Over 20 years ago, he wrote El Paso, which soon became a country cowboy classic. He himself became a legend in the music business, and he was a fighter. He survived three near-fatal heart attacks in a near-fatal car accident. Tragically, two weeks ago, Marty Robbins lost his fight for life. We think this story will show you some insight into the kind of man Marty Robbins was. Out in the West Texas town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. In 1959, Marty Robbins recorded a song that changed the listening habits of just about everyone who owned a radio. For the first time, country music was being enjoyed by the masses. His song, El Paso, was a monster hit, the most listened to song that year. It certainly wasn't the first country song to make it to the charts, but El Paso sold big and was played on every radio station. And it was the very first country song to win a Grammy. And though it was a quarter of a century ago that Marty first put the words to that compelling tale on paper, he still belts out the same verses that made him a super legend in country music. Maybe tomorrow the bullet will find me And I'd nothing worse than this pain in my heart And at last here I am on the hill Overlooking El Paso I can see Rose's cantina below since El Paso, Marty's written over 500 songs, received two Grammys, and has any number of gold albums to his credit, plus four platinums. In Nashville, however, he's just another country music legend. Somewhere between Hank Williams and Elvis Presley, Marty's found his niche in country music. Uh, the, the cowboy songs and the country songs, and there is a difference, that is American folk music. Just like Dixieland jazz, I like cowboy songs best. That's best, that's my favorite. But it's pretty close between the real cowboy songs now. And I don't mean urban cowboy. Mm -hmm. I mean real cowboy songs and love songs. I like love songs real well, I think, because, uh, well, I think everybody in the world likes love songs. They, they tend to stay around a little longer and last. Probably country music and the banjo about the only two things in, in music that we have that are American and it, it seems to be our music, you know, and usually it, it is, uh, it's a story that most people can relate to in one form or another. If they haven't lived it, they know somebody that has. Lee Shannon started out as a country music disc jockey at about the same time El Paso hit the airwaves. Today, he's one of the top country music program directors in radio at WQIK in Jacksonville. I would say Marty Robbins is definitely country music. He fits probably no mold, really. Marty Robbins just might be considered one of the outlaws of, of what they used to consider an outlaw in the sense that he goes his way and does his thing. To the town of our free in 1960, Marty started dirt track racing, and by 1972, he had progressed to NASCAR's high-speed Grand National Division. It's fun, you know, it's uh, show business. Uh, when the inter introductions are made at a big racetrack, I'll get as big a hand as anybody. Richard Petty, Cale Yarbrough, I don't care who it is, as big as anybody, see? Well, that makes me feel good, and I have a lot of fun with the guys, you know. They're, they're all real nice people. Is that what it is, the, the applause addicting the attention? Well, it's got to be that because I know I'm not going to win, so it, it must be, oh, I'll get some applause anyway. Well, that's part of it, you know, and, and I do like racing. Yeah. Because there are a few people on track that, that I'm going to be able to stay up with or outrun. What makes this man even more remarkable is his ability to bounce back from two serious heart attacks, one which involved open-heart surgery in 1970. Then, in 1975, at the Charlotte Speedway, Marty risked death and slammed his car into a concrete wall at over 150 miles an hour to avoid hitting a stalled car. He nearly lost his right eye and received 47 stitches across his forehead. I have been near death so many times, you see, that now I am not afraid of death. So now I can enjoy living, you see. And, and to really enjoy living, you, you, you just can't be afraid of death. 
Although Marty still finds time to race three or four times a year, his real love is crisscrossing rural America, 130 days a year, with his bus, band, and two drivers. I'd much rather play a, a small city than a big city. Why? Well, it's easier to get around, a lot easier to get around, you see. And, and the people in New York are the same. People who like country music in New York are the same as the people who like country music in Douglas, Georgia. At the Holiday Beach Resort in Douglas, Georgia, his fans line up. Today, they've come from all over the Southeast to hear Marty sing and to watch him perform. Well, he just gives me the idea that I want to just get on my horse and ride. <laughs> I just like his style. He's the best singer that I know of today. Well, because I think he plays to the people. Because he's a good singer. That's all the people want. It's just the effort. If you make an effort to please the people, and that is, that's all you can do. And when you, they know that you're sincere and you're trying to please them and you're trying to have fun with them, you can't miss. There's standing room only for this performance and for Marty, that's payment enough. Still, he has big plans for his future. Another Grammy and a top country hit in the making. And that's a tall order coming from a man who suffered his third heart attack just eight months ago. I want to live as long as I can and enjoy life as long as I can. And when I'm through enjoying life, that's when I want to pass away. I don't, I don't want to die. I don't, don't want to understand me, you see. Yeah. I want to live, you know, because uh, I don't believe in reincarnation. And they say when you're gone, you're gone. You know, you don't come back. I mean, that's the way I feel. I would like to be remembered as a, uh, as a good entertainer, uh, a good person. I think maybe better as a good person. And Marty Robbins will get his wish. He will be remembered by all of us as a wonderful performer and a great person.